Now we'll look at what some people in our area are doing to help the people of Haiti. Listen to this. We're talking about seven school buses weighing roughly 25,000 pounds each that will be shipped 7,000 miles away. Our ABC 10's Michael Anthony Adams spent time with a local labor organizer who spent the past two years making this possible. Was there ever a point that you thought this might not work out? I might not be able to fulfill my promise to those kids in Haiti to get them those buses. The image of a school bus is as synonymous to an American education as a number two pencil. But in Haiti, a nation devastated by two of the worst natural disasters of the past decade, a free ride to school on a yellow bus is a luxury few can afford. People end up having to use all the resources that they have to fix their homes instead of buying food or t t t sending the kids to school. Uh, on top of parents having to pay to go to school, they also have to pay for their kids to be transported to school because there is no transportation system. Claude, an Oakland labor organizer who was born and raised in Haiti, launched the Those Angels Foundation in 2015 in hopes of providing free education, transportation, and school lunches to economically disadvantaged children and orphans in the country. He started by building a tent school in Carrefour, a commune outside Port-au-Prince. Then he needed a way to get the students there. For, for a lot of these kids, um, when their parents cannot afford the transportation cost, they have to walk miles, miles. I mean, some of them walk two miles, five miles to go to school. And I'm not exaggerating. They walk that much on dirt roads to, to get to school. And I came back to the U.S. and I went on a manhunt for, <laughs> for school buses. Claude was in luck. The Sacramento City Unified School District was retiring several buses and offered to sell them to him at $100 a piece, a fraction of what they're valued at. So when Sacramento City Unified School District told us that we had to, to move the school buses, I had no place for the school buses to go. As Claude searched for a way to get the buses to Haiti, people in private companies from Sacramento to the Bay offered to store the buses free of charge. Now, more than two years after purchasing the buses, they're finally on their way to Haiti, thanks to the United States Air Force. One of their things that sold me was, can you imagine a young seven-year-old sitting there smiling going to school? Yeah, I can because I was that seven-year-old on one of those buses. Buck is the civilian operations officer at the 60th Aerial Port Squadron out of Travis Air Force Base and is overseeing the first leg of the journey the buses will make to Haiti as part of the Department of Defense's Denton program, which provides transportation for humanitarian goods to disaster areas. The challenge for this is the age of the bus. Uh, has it ever been airlift certified? So can it withstand the airlift? Can it withstand the restraint of what we're putting on it to meet the aircraft in case the aircraft runs into turbulence? Bucks troopers worked dozens of hours to prepare the buses for transport and ensure they'd make it safely to Haiti. But his mission isn't over yet. It ends when you know that that bus is running down that rural road in Haiti and it's got those young kids on it going to school, getting an education. And they're proud and they're happy to have that opportunity that a lot of people are not grateful to have that opportunity to go to school. The buses are now going to be <laughs> taken first class style <laughs> not on the boat but they're going to be they're going to be taken into a plane and and taken to Haiti in the early morning hours of November 20th more than 2 years after Claude's hunt for viable transportation began airmen from the 60th Aerial Port Squadron loaded the 7 Sacramento school buses onto two C5M Super Galaxies fulfilling the promise he made to those kids in Haiti. But seeing, seeing kids going to school, to me, that's the reward. That's, right. that's, that's, that's it. That's it.